Key things that we've learned from Arteta's recent exclusive interview at Arsenal and the press conference. Number one, Arteta feels that the team needs to be critical of themselves following the bad start to the season. Number two, when asked about the transfer strategy, he feels that it is the right thing to do, provided that the players are going to be getting to the potential they require to be to compete. Number three, Arteta pleads with Granite Shaka to get the COVID vaccine following Morio's advice on Shaka. Four, Arteta feels Aaron Ramsdale has got a chance to be pushing for the first team. Welcome to the Blunt Pundit where I speak my mind and you can say yours. Let's get right into it, people. Arteta has come out to say that they need to be critical of themselves and they need to analyze themselves following their very bad start to the season, losing the first three games to Brentford, Chelsea and Manchester United. And he feels that they really need to be critical of themselves. Have a look at this. First of all, try to put some perspective, analyze all the facts, the things that uh, we could have done different or better and uh, be critical with ourselves. And that's the first thing we have today. We want to improve or change any situation. And then understand that what happened, um, it was pretty incredible um, and it has affected the team in different ways and we have a, a pretty difficult schedule as well uh, on top of that. And then leave the excuses out and focus and what can we do better, what we can we do different, um, what we need in the future to be more consistent and start to pick the results that we need and, and that's it. And there is only one focus that is Norwich, the rest is on the past and focus our energy there. We all know that Arsenal fans are tired of hearing same old, same old, but they want results and they want action and not words. I don't know what you guys feel about that from Arteta, but your comments below will be well appreciated. Moving on to the transfer policy, he was grilled again about what Edu said about the transfer policies of buying youngsters and he reiterated that these youngsters are the future and he wants them to be able to get to the potential where they're required to compete with the likes of Manchester City, Chelsea and the top teams around and he also says that he wants them to be financially stable as well in the club but have a listen to what Ateta had to say about that transfer policy. Uh, in recent years and what we have inherited, um, the fact that you don't play in Europe uh, needed a substantial change. We want a club that is sustainable, that is stable financially, but at the same time can compete at the highest level because we know the demands for our club is to be the best and we have to do that. So on top of that, we needed to recruit in a lot of positions um, and in order to do that we have to spread um, the money and how it was going to spend um, wisely and then we have to be very specific with the qualities the target that we want that can reach the potential that is required at that level with the competition we have with other teams to reach that so the whole strategy it was around that and making those decisions and as smart as quick as possible that is going to give us in a in a short period of time hopefully uh, big margins of improvement I think this transfer policy makes sense to some fans and it doesn't make sense to some fans. What do I mean? Some fans feel that the future is bright for Arsenal because they understand that these players have got potential and they'll be able to attain exactly where they're supposed to be to be able to compete. But some fans feel that if these youngsters become very good players, they will end up leaving Arsenal Football Club because they don't have a good enough big players around them that is going to improve them. And the big clubs like Barcelona and Real Madrid might end up coming for the likes of Saka and Los Metro, etc. I don't know what you guys feel about that, but your comments below will be well appreciated. Moving on to Granite Shaka. Granite Shaka is currently having coronavirus and is in isolation in his own country. And Ateta has pleaded with him, as well as all the Arsenal players, to take the vaccine. This is coming from um, when recently Mourinho admonished Shaka to take the vaccine. Have a listen to these people. You mentioned Granit Xhaka there. Obviously, the Swiss were telling us he had a positive COVID test. And Jose Mourinho is saying, well, he should go and get jabs. I mean, what's your policy on players getting vaccinations, Mikel? Is, is Jose right? We are trying to 
to explain all the reasons why we believe it's the right thing to do and how much it will protect, first of all, the club, secondly, the teammates or the environment that they are around, um, the exposure that we would have if they don't do it, but at the end, it's a really personal thing. Um, obviously, they will be limited in certain aspects if they don't, because we don't want to expose ourselves um, in certain things. But at the end, it's a personal matter, it's not an obligation, and, and we have to respect that. I don't know what you guys feel about that. Apparently, this is a personal thing to take the breath in. And I don't know if Shaka should be criticized for that by what most people are saying on social media. But listen, at the end of the day, we know that if he doesn't take it, there's a potential and a risk of him missing games like what is going to be happening in the next couple of games for Arsenal Football Club. We all know that Shaka is an integral member of this Arsenal squad, even if a lot of people don't really want him to be there, but you cannot deny the fact that right now he is a senior member of the squad, whether you like him or not. Moving on to the starting lineup for Norwich. What do you feel about this Arsenal versus Norwich game? Because Ateta has gone out to say that this is going to be a total reset and it is a must win game. Have a listen to this, people. And of course, next up is Norwich at home. Does it feel like a must win game? It always is our Arsenal and uh, the pressure is always there uh, to be as high as possible on that league table. Uh, we need the first win, we're going to play in front of our fans after a disappointing start. So um, it's down to us to provide everything we have, performance-wise, to end the result that we want at the end. Like I said before, we've heard most of these things being said before, but what Arsenal fans want right now is results. Losing the first three games of the season is not acceptable for a club like Arsenal Football Club. But listen, at the end of the day, we just have to wait. What is in the past is in the past, right? We have to look towards the future. And hopefully, maybe Arsenal is going to be able to get a win this weekend. Talking about the lineup again, one particular person who is currently pushing for a place in the starting lineup is Aaron Ramsdale. And Arteta has come out to say he's really, really pushing for a place. Would you like to see Aaron Ramsdale start instead of Leno? Have a listen to what Arteta has to say. Ramsdale been doing in training. And have you been thinking about a change at goalkeeper for this game? He's doing really good. Um, he's training. He's uh, a big competitor, somebody that is really pushy in training sessions. Uh, we knew that when we made all the recruitment process with the team. Um, and now we have two very different goalkeepers, two different age profile, two different qualities, but both really good. And that's uh, the thing that uh, we should be aiming for. I was just talking about Jack, Jack Wilshere. Ah, Jack Wilshere, He's yeah. unable to get a club, he's training out in Italy. Um, just your thoughts on his situation and would there again, be a scenario where he was training with Arsenal again? Someone that I know that I said dressing room, someone it's so loved around the, the club with every person here and our doors are, are always open. Okay. Would you guys like to see Jack Wilshere back in Arsenal Football Club? Let's not forget this is a player that right now no club wants him currently, not even small clubs want him. So would you be open? to getting Jack Wilshere back in Arsenal Football Club. And on that note, that is me, people. That's me done. It's your boy here, the Blunt Money Lovers. The Lovers haters will be haters. Make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell icon as well, please. I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Take care. Hello, guys. I'm really glad you enjoyed that video. One more thing you have to do for me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, please. And while you subscribe, make sure you click the bell icon as well, not to miss any of my videos. Thank you very much, guys. Bye. <laughs>